hello hello everybody and we are back with another custom content mod review but this time we're doing the sims 4 um if you've watched any of my previous videos on youtube or if you watched me on twitch you see that i do play a lot of sims 4 i've been playing sims 4 since it came out in launch and then i've been playing the sims franchise since sims 1. so that being said i have sunk a lot of money into the sims um ea pretty much has my has has my credit card right there ready for them every time that a new pack comes out however there is free stuff you can download and that is with custom content packs and those are with people who make um cosmetic um gameplay packs um, usually they ask for a donation, but most of the time they are just completely free. And today we are doing the cottage garden stuff for Sims 4 that is made by the Plum Bob Tea Society. And that link, is, that link for this mod is going to be down in the description. Go ahead and click that and support them. But however, it is with a group of, of Simmers. Um, so we have, oh goodness probably a good nine or ten people who have worked on this um, content pack um, and then so let's see I'm reading it right now it has a hundred and seventy one items this fan made stuff pack is bursting with new content uh -huh. perfectly ta tailored to complement your cozy cottage with a touch of rustic charm so let's dig right in so right now we are in um create a sim and we are going to show you the adults um children and toddlers um anything that the adults have most likely the teenagers will have and then i have taken off the masculine and feminine um outfits so we can see them both on the toddler and the um, child without having more sims. So here we go. Digging right in, we only have one new hairstyle with this custom content pack. Boop. And that is this beautiful hair right here. And then going on to the outfits, there's actually quite a lot of outfits that you can choose from. And of course, each outfit's gonna have its own collar swatch. Tons of color swatches. This one's a top and pants duet. Same with this. And there was only one pair of pants that came with the mail. But there is quite a lot of shirts. Oh, here's one of the full bodies. And then lastly, our last full body. And that's actually it for the um, male. So let's dig right into the female. Um, there's always a lot more, um, a lot more stuff when it comes to females versus males in The Sims. So let's go ahead and get started with her hair. First off, can we talk about how beautiful they like how perfect they did um the sims hair um if you don't know anything about um about custom content there's usually two main kinds in the sims 4 world it is going to be your maxis match and then your alpha the maxis match is going to be things that match the aesthetic of ea however alpha is going to be more of a realistic approach i like to tend I tend to lean more on the Maxis match just because I don't want to have to have thousands of um, mods in my Sims 4 file. So I like things that complement the um, EA style. So this is what this um, custom content pack is. It is an EA um, Maxis match. So with that being said, they did a great job at, at um, you know, matching. So this actually comes with accessories. So let's go ahead and put the content, custom content filter. I think it's the hats actually, yeah. So you can see what hairstyles these are really meant for. So let's go, I think it's this one, isn't it? No? 
this really doesn't lay very well. Maybe her head's too small. But we also have a nice little hat, as well as this pretty flower crown. Boop. Oh. Now that looks really good. And unfortunately, let's see if we can change the flowers. We can change the flowers, so whatever one matches. We're gonna go with this one. Alrighty, so going down to the outfits, this is all completely part of the pack. So here is the dress swatches, as well as a picnic basket for an accessory. But we also have a watering can. So, you know, if you want your sim to be, be walk around in style, we can do that too. And then here are the um, different kinds of shoes. So we have the boots and then the rain boots. And you, and although that this is a custom content, um, you can tell the difference between my custom content pack because these will have the little gardening, um, like the little gardening pail on it. And that is the logo for this um, garden stuff pack. So coming on, going on, here is another outfit, as well as this. Another working outfit, and then another top and bottom just mod podge. It's not supposed to go together, so please do not worry about that. Um, however, I want to say that there is another top that I looked over whenever I was looking at this. I don't think I did. Oh, this is it. I think this is the top that actually goes with the skirt. <laughs> it looks a lot better. But we also have some other tops as well. As well as, I think, a, no a bottoms. Yeah. Here's another pair of bottoms that we have with our various types of tops. And of course, each one comes with a different swatch. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to the toddlers. All right, so here is the toddler. The toddler only comes with one hairstyle um, and it is this very beautiful like texturized hair. I'm making it lighter that way we can really see the texture of the hair. Beautiful. And then I believe that it should come with yes. So we have a little bow as well as a hat for, for our little toddlers. And then for the outfits, it only came with one, um, one outfit for the toddlers and it's this cute little romper and it comes with different swatches and honestly, I love it. I, I mean, I'd wear this romper, you know. Alrighty. <laughs> So let's go ahead and go look at the children. Here is the um, children's swatches. Um, unfortunately, there is no custom content hair for, for children in this pack, but we do get a lot of different outfits. So let's go ahead and look at the outfits and the different swatches on that. So our first one is gonna be this really pretty, elegant, like red, lacy dress, of course, different swatches. Um, this really makes me think of um, like, if you've ever seen people do the decades challenge in The Sims, I think this aesthetic would go really well with it. But of course, going on to some more, here's some more of dresses, outfits for the children. And then this one is also the, um, the male or female. It's in both categories as well as this one, I believe. Which I am a sucker for a good layering and it looks good. I wish that this outfit was for the adults as well because again, I'm a sucker for a good Sims layering style. But yeah, that is um, Create a Sim. So let's go ahead and go to our build buy mode and they have tons of extra content and items that you can have in your house. So let's go ahead and look at that. 
Alrighty, so now we are in the build by mode and we get to see everything that's um, a part of the build by mode here. Um, I have it off in sections that way it's easier to look at and easier to see. Um, we're going to go in those sections and we're going to put the different swatches, the different uses. There is beautiful um, clutter items for those who like those. That is also me. And we have a lot, and we actually have a new roof in this. So we have a new roof pattern and some, and a door. So let's go ahead and dig right in. So first off, So first off, you're going to be able to see the mossy roof cottage garden roof. So if we go ahead and click on that, we can see the different swatches for this. Which you just pick whatever color would look best with your building. So another thing that we have is that we have some um, like vines. And of course you can change those depending on how you want it to look. And then we also have some vines as well. And of course, you guessed it, you can change the colors of these. There's different types and you can see them all right here. As well as this tiny flower that you can put in your garden. Talking about tiny flowers, the other flower that complements this is actually over here. And yeah, so you can have a nice little wide array of flowers and new bushes. Okay, back to our building. It's going to be a lot of stuff, and I apologize, but again, with 171 items to this cottage garden stuff pack, we're going to have quite a bit of items to go through so just bear with me so we have some planner boxes and of course swatches with the hanging baskets we do get this little um like light with the mason jar and a candle on the inside as well as a new mailbox which is kind of which is really neat and really um, interesting and of course you can put that anywhere you want i just decided to put it on the door oh because I had BB move objects on. Okay. And this is actually the only functioning door that we get in this stuff pack. Whenever I saw these barn doors, I thought that they were also going to be functioning. However, if we go inside the house. Oh, can I not do that right here? See, it is not a functioning door. However, I'm sure that you can rig it in a way to, to where it works but i just really like the option of having a nice a nice barn door and of course they are two totally different ones all i did was i alt moved them together to make them look conjoined and there we go so the inside of this house oh no That's strange. That makes me wonder if this is not usable. We will check that out. Anyway, we have a gas fire stove with some clutter items on top. So we have an empty mason jar and then we have a tea kettle. However, with the mason jar, let's try to find what I have.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, I thought I had it in there, but I did not. But here it is. Um, you can actually put stuff in the mason jar. And of course, there's other items that you're able to put in the mason jar, but it's just to make it look more full. Okay, and then we have this wall sink, and we're gonna see um, with our family if any of this is interactable. So, all right, and then everything that you see in this lot is part of the pack. So all the clutter items, so we have a little tea tin of herbs that go on either this nice little um, shelf area or they can be separate uh, as well as an antique seed box, some mason jar decor, and as well as some of the mason jar candles. And of course, these hanging um, wall shelves. We also have a nice little pantry. of just nice decor items. And then mirrors. I was actually very excited to see um, some really nice, just leaning mirrors. I think that this is gonna make a nice filler item. Alrighty, and then we have a little garden hutch with um, some clutter items, as well as another wall shelf with another clutter item. And then, of course, we have two new lights, and these are going to be like the Edison-style bulbs. So, so we have them in the high and then the low hanging. So that is all that is in the house. So let's go to the front of the house to these really cool garden boxes. So each one of these garden boxes is a different tile, so you can make various kinds of designs. So we have a middle design and, and an end cap and a corner. And those are the three pieces that I used in order to make this little upside down view, um, a little horseshoe shape. And then of course they have your standard four boxed in ones. And of course these have a lot of fun designs. So there is the B and then you can have them in different swatches. You can have it plain. You can have this little pretty like stencil action or just have the traditional plain Jane. And then we have some more clutter items. So we have the antique gardening can as well as a cottage um, garden like Roxy Road statuette. And this is actually another um, planter and it is and it's supposed to look like a tree trunk and I think that they did a great job. Then of course the different swatches, some more like succulents, um, a nice little like water um, decor item. And then going on here, we have um, a chair that would look really nice. I really like the pillow on it. It looks really nice. That's how probably my apartment or my chairs would be if I had like a cottage style. Just really nice, simple, but a nice you know, cushion action. Then as well as a nice end table with different swatches, some fun designs that looks like that it got pulled from inspiration from the city living pack, as well as just some more um, antique vibes and some more plain swatches. And we have a side table that you can see that is distressed on the ends, which is really nice. I really like it. Um, it makes it look like the rustic vibe that they were going for, as well as the candles, some more of clutter items. And then we can see some more plants, this um, bird feeder, as well as some more of just more of these little planners. And then here is another fun um, garden thing. So these are actually two different sets. So I got them, um, so they're a left and a right side. So you can like put like a nice waterfall in the middle. 
you can all and drag them together to make it look like one big statue however you want to design it it's all up to you and of course these come in the different swatches we love swatches alrighty so going on we have this nice pathway and of course we can do these and then here is a nice these actually are not a fence I got this all from the decorations part of it as well as um, this little rock formation and then we have some more like stepping stones but they're all mossy Alrighty, so if we look over here, we have some more decor items. So we have another succulent planter box, but is it but it has a tree in it, as well as a potting bench, and then we have some just various items scattered around to make it look more full and more beauties and love. And then of course we have some more um, water items to keep a barrel fountain and then here's also a, a watering can fountain as well so that's a fun little a fun little um, part of this pack then as well as a nice wedding art which I think is so beautifully done I would whenever I play the sims I'm gonna have to use this in the wedding like in my next wedding that i have and then of course we have a nice wheelbarrow we have a tiny greenhouse then over here we have a swing with a nice like trellis area and then of course my styles all righty so going over here, we have two different styles of hanging baskets. So we have a shorter one as well as a taller one. And then we have some rugs. We have this long runner and then a short runner, as well as this rug that's in the house. I forgot to highlight it, but we do get this rug and it has a really nice texture pack to it. Alrighty, so last but not least, let's go ahead and look at the different kinds of wall decor items that you get with this pack. Everything is on this wall, nicely displayed, and then where they get the 171 items is the different swatches and the different prints that come with each pack. So of course, you can see the different kinds even though that it is a picture the picture will change and as well we're just clicking through some of these so we can see the your different options for it and then I am where that they made it to where you can put um, those cross stitches on the wall because whenever I played the cottage pack um well the country living pack sorry I've always wanted to put my cross stitch things on the walls but they just go and sit on your um just sit on flat surfaces but then of course here is the last bit of this so really fast we're going to see if some of these are interactable such as the stove since it kind of vanishes whenever we put down our um, our walls so i'll see you in a minute Alrighty, so we are back in the house in game and these are actually you could actually use them <laughs> which i guess if you play with like the three quarters wall or full walls up it won't be a problem but if you play with the walls down it's going to be more of an issue and then these um wall faucets do work and here's the animation for that so i'm guessing that what you would do is that you would put something underneath of it 
Um, of course, here is those. Let's see if the um, mailbox works, as well as this sink, this outdoor sink. We can fantasize about wedding. We can admire new possession, which I'm guessing is probably with his materialistic side. So, of course, these will just be all viewing um, since they are decor items. I'm trying to think of anything else. Let's go ahead and sit here and see the animation for that. Sir. Can you please sit down, sorry? Can you please sit down? Um, why are you not... Is it just... Just comfort one. Can you sit? Well, it looks like he's... I can't sit on this. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, it is a nice um, little... This little decor item. Then, of course, these planners box all work. And let's go ahead and sit down in our chair to make sure we can sit down on that. And we can sit down on this. Okay, awesome. So the rest should just be all viewed items. Ooh, we can actually add bird seed to this. That's fun. So well, anyway, I think that's where we're going to end it here for this um, custom content pack. Overall, I think that this pack is done beautifully. Um, again, this is the Cottage Garden stuff for Sims 4 made by the Tombox Society. And that link will be, in the will be in the description below. So please give them all the love. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you guys like to make more videos like this, please just let me know. And go ahead and like, subscribe. Um, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Have a